Hi friends, so good to see you all. It's been forever. I'm so happy to be here. My name is Lee Preparator Taylor. I work downstairs in the Paleo Prep Lab as the Lee Preparator, which means I get to clean fossils all day and talk with friends like you. And if you're wondering who this beautiful little girl over here is, this is my daughter, Autumn. And I would say she's gonna be my assistant, but technically I'm gonna be hers today. So Autumn is gonna be the main one to show you the project that we're gonna be doing, and she's gonna be the one doing it. I'm just gonna give to her different bags. And what we are going to do, this is actually kind of a fun project I've always wanted to do. As a kid, I loved sand art. And I know a bunch of people from the 90s who doesn't remember sand art. Sand art is putting different colored layers of sand in a jar or a plastic container and you have different designs you can do in it but in the end it's a beautiful rainbow of colors we're going to do something really really similar to that except we're going to put some science into it because science is amazing, is amazing. <laughs> i love this girl so what we're going to do is we're going to do something that different layers of rock or sand that will be found at a dig site that we have been digging at in the past. And many of you who have been to the Children's Museum have been seeing that big things are happening because we are digging up some really, really big fossils of some really big, long animals, 80 to 100 feet long. Many of you know them, as we have discussed, if you have been to the museum, as sauropods, long-necked, long-tailed dinosaurs, Yay, some of my favorites. So what we're going to do is I would love to kind of show you some things that I have. Now I have to remind you, I did not go shopping for this. I raided my pantry and this is what made it easy. I have a mason jar. It can be a big mason jar, it can be a small mason jar. It can be a plastic cup if you have it, a solo cup, it can be a water bottle, whatever you need. And then I'm going to say about four or five different types of things. Now you'll see coffee in there. You'll see some mulch. Who doesn't have some mulch in their yard? I got some noodles. I'm going to tell you about these noodles here in a moment. I even got flour. Let's see. I got dirt. Who doesn't have some dirt? Yeah, go out, get some dirt, sugar. If you drink the coffee, you have sugar. At least my husband does. All of those things are going to come into this project. And remember, these things you're not going to reuse. So just be okay with being able to say, okay, these items that I'm using, I'm not going to go and cook brownies with them afterwards. Might be kind of gritty. The mulch might not taste very good. So what we will do, I actually made a little guide. And this is going to help me show different layers of rock. Now, what this is called and what is actually we go on site and we find our layers of rock and these are called layers of stratigraphy do you see the different layers the dark the light the purple the flower even got some bones sticking out of the ground up there <laughs> stratigraphy is like reading a book we've all read books and books have different chapters in them each chapter tells you something different Maybe it has a different character that comes into play. Maybe there's a different thing that happens that just throws the whole book off. Well, you know what? That's what we find out at our dig site. We find that different layers give us different information and have different kinds of fossils in them that puts together our story. And that's why I wanted to do this. I thought this was so much fun. Here's a picture of some stratigraphy at our site. Do you see the different layers? These are so cool. You see the light colored layers and the white layers. This tells me that things happened. We can't go back in time. You don't have a time machine yet. <laughs> so I like to look at the layers of rock. So why don't we go ahead and begin? I do want to remind everyone, if you don't have all these supplies ready and you're not able to do it right now with us, with me and Autumn, you can absolutely come later on go on the website this will be posted so you can actually gather all of your supplies and then you could do it later 
or you could do it with other colors of sand because everywhere you go around the world, you're not going to have the same colored sand and the same kind of rock and the same kind of dinosaurs. So do this as many times as you want. It'll be fun. Are you ready to have some fun? Yes. High five. Mm -hmm. All right. We missed. <laughs> we missed, and that's fine. I don't have the best thing. So first of all, we take our mason jar. Again, it can be a big one. It could be a small one. You could have a plastic cup or maybe even a bowl, whatever you got. Now, I'm going to look at my handy dandy chart. Boop. And the reason I'm going to start at the very bottom, if you think about it, as things are laid down on the, on the top of the rock, things are going to layer on top. So that tells me the deeper you go, the older it, it is. is. I know, it's so awesome. So the things that you're walking on on the top of the surface, go crunch, 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 crunch. Those are the youngest rocks that you're walking on. So because we're starting at the bottom, they are the oldest, right? Yes. All right, put that spoon down. So first of all, I had a bunch of coffee gowns. And because I don't like decaf, I don't drink it all the time. I had some leftover. You don't need much. We're going to just do a little bit. I did like half a cup. I just had, you know, whatever I had in here. So I'm going to give it to my assistant, Autumn. And if you want to, you can pour most of that bag into the jar. So go ahead. Just pour this into the jar. It's really easy. Here, go ahead, pour the rest. Now, parents, if you want to lay down a plastic or paper towels or something like that if you're a neat freak perfect but if you spill some of this coffee your house is going to smell amazing more mess the better so she used all of it that's fine i'm going to toss that aside and look at that we got our first layer which also also shows us it's the oldest the things that we find in here this is a, a formation called the chug water formation that's pretty cool it's kind of red that's neat if any of you are into stratigraphy, this is a pretty cool book. These are the roadside guides of geology. This is kind of what helped me along with this project. A lot of you are readers. There's a lot of fun pictures in that book. I actually bring it on my dig and it helps me. So we got our first layer, bam. Our second layer, layer right here, sugar. Oh yeah, pour all that sugar in there. Cause with your coffee, everyone needs a lot of sugar or maybe just a little bit of coffee with your sugar. Get it. Yeah, I want some. <laughs> Thank you. Mm, so tasty. Nice. Mm. And when you pour it in there, you can kind of move it around a little bit. Do you see the different layers? We got the lower layer. Now we got this white layer of sugar. All right, here we go. Oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> Hey, look what else I got. Dirt. Who doesn't have some dirt, right? Um, however much you want. I could tell you to put half a bag. I could tell you to put just a tiny bit in there. Do whatever amount you want. I just put in whatever you like. This is a project for the kiddos or kiddos at heart. While she's doing this, I want to do a shout out to my friend Zoe. And I want to do a shout out to my friend, Maddie. Hi, Maddie. And yes, I love sugar too. She just uh, told me she loves sugar. Yeah, sugar is amazing. Good, yeah, move that around there. Yeah. While, while she's doing that, a little bit, a little bit more. All right, hey, Autumn. Yes? What do you call a sleeping dinosaur? What? A dino snore. <laughs> For all of you who know me, down at the dinosaur lab, I love jokes. Jokes are so much fun and they're a way to connect. Ooh, that looks good. I want everyone to see this. Look at this. Can you see the different layers? Look at that. Now I actually really like how it's a little bit higher up here and lower down there because you know what? Mother nature lays rocks differently. I think you should keep it just like that. Did you put dirt on my floor? Yes. It's fine. That's why we have vacuums. <laughs> Our next layer. Now, I have a lot of this. This is actually magic sand. It's a little bit older, so I decided we're just going to go ahead and use it. And I mixed it because that's what I had. I have a whole sandwich bag full of this magic sand because we're going to use it twice. So don't use this whole bag at the same time. I'd say use about half. 
This is the layer. These two layers are some of the most important layers that we find when we go digging up the dinosaurs every summer. Because this is the layer of sand or rock or sandstone that has our dinosaur fossils. Yay! So what I'm going to have you do is add a lot. Add a lot. I go about half. How's that sound? Here we go. Start with the spoon. Start with the spoon. That's a really good idea. Autumn has a spoon, and she's mm -hmm. using it to scoop in the amount that she wants. Great. Now, on this same layer, which is kind of cool, we're going to do some fun stuff with it. Because along with our dinosaurs, you know dinosaurs, they like plants. And where do plants grow on? They grow on trees from time to time. And that's why I have mulch. Yes. The wonderful thing that makes your house look beautiful. A bit more? A tiny bit more, yeah. Yeah, that's looking great. And if whoever's doing this with me right now, hi, Susan. I love jokes, too. They're so much fun. Again, have fun with this. Make a mess. Ooh, what did you find? Ooh, you found a, I don't know what that is. <laughs> cool. <laughs> we get those, too. Great. I want to show everyone how this is looking. Look at this. You see that? You got your coffee, your sugar, your sand. Now you got your magic sand. Look at those layers. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that stratigraphy. I want everyone right now to tell me. I want everyone to say stratigraphy with me. Ready? One, two, three. Stratigraphy. Oh, that's beautiful. All right. So here's the thing. Like I said, on this big layer of purple and green, that's where we find our dinosaurs. And sticks and branches. There's our dinosaur bones, and it's just noodles. I have a bunch of different noodles. Then we have a hidden dinosaur. And then we have a hidden dinosaur. This is so cool. I want to tell. Yes. Um, this dinosaur is a victim of our cat Charlie. Uh, <laughs> she decided that it didn't need a head anymore, <laughs> which is actually pretty appropriate because a lot of paleontologists we find a lot of the dinosaur body, but no head. Weird. So what we're going to do is on this same <laughs> layer here, same layer of the purple and green sand, I would love for us to add some dinosaur bones represented by noodles. You here we go. Me. Are you ready? Can I put the noodles in? I put one. All right. You put one. All right. Now take a spoon. Kind of mix it in there a little bit. Hi, Dan. Stratigraphy. Good job, Dino Dan. I got Dino Dan, one of our great volunteers on here watching. You did a wonderful job. Nice. Now, I want everyone, can you see that? Can you see how she gently pushed down those noodles on top, just down a little bit? And then that way, because they're still in the rock, but they're showing just a tiny bit. Now we're going to pop our dinosaur in there. Ready? Boop. Yeah. Oh, head first. Really? <laughs> wow. Ah! Oh, he's in there. Look at him. He's feet up. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, so now we need to cover him up, but I have, let's see, did we put mulch in there? We did not. Don't forget your mulch. I got to put some twigs. Ready? Here they come. Because a lot of times these dinosaur bones are going to be found next to branches. And that tells us they have a little bit of water around the air. Maybe they're walking around a shoreline. Maybe they're walking around a pond. They were thirsty. Don't use them all. I'm not. Okay. Why are we whispering? I don't know. You're, you're okay, starting that's it. That's good. All right. So we got that. And now we need to cover that up because our next layer is going to be a real thick sand. So it's kind of tough. And a lot of times we're not going to find fossils in this layer. But it's a nice little divider. So let's go ahead and we're going to put, I'd say, put about half of that. Yeah, put half. You can put three quarters of a bag. You can put whatever you want. She's using a spoon. You can dump it in there. You can dump it on your head. It's fine. <laughs> Consult your adults before you probably, do this. Probably not on the head. Not on your head. You're not doing the yes. experiment on your head. And this is the flour that I'm using now. I have almond flour. Eh. If you have white flour, I don't care. If you got blue flour, where did you find it? Anything <laughs> you want to use, you There's could do no this. Flour. Maddie, I got the mulch just by my front yard. I did. We just bought mulch and I laid it down a few weeks ago. And I decided that, you know, I'm just going to go out and I think you went out and grabbed a handful of mulch, didn't you? Mm -hmm. I gave Autumn this bag and she went out and grabbed a, just a, a handful. Now, I do want to say this mulch is dry. If you just lay down your mulch or it just rains, 
be a little bit careful with it and wash your hands afterwards. This is dry mulch. It's been out in the heat for a while, so it doesn't have any smell to it. So that's a little bit of good information. Yeah. Parents might not appreciate okay. if you're bringing wet mulch in. Oh, wow. Let's show off this beautiful thing. Look at that. Ah, look at that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and as you can tell, we have some noodles sticking out here. That is actually how paleontologists find fossils. We don't just decide like, hey, here's a tree, great shade. We're just gonna go dig right here because there's gonna be a beautiful dinosaur. We gotta wait for the dinosaur bones to be sticking out. And that gives us X marks the spot, kind of like a, tre a treasure map for a pirate. You can't see the treasure but you like can't, you gotta dig it. So now we're gonna go back. Remember when I said only use half of the bag of the green and purple sand that I had? We're gonna, you are making a mess. It's a beautiful mess. Science. We're going to bring this stuff back into play. Now, this is going to be our last big layer. So use as much as you want. If you can tell, she's all the way up here. The other one that I did, I didn't do it all the way up. It doesn't matter how full you want to do. This is up to you. This is your stratigraphy. Do we have any more except for those? No, this is going to be all this. So our last layer, she's going to add now the very top here is the green and purple magic sand. Now remember what I said, this is the stuff we love. This is the stuff you're walking on. The bones are sticking out. We got some plants in there. So we love to have this stuff go as high as you want. Doesn't matter. Nice. <laughs> <I'm getting> more. <laughs> That's beautiful, yeah, do as much as you want. Again, we're gonna have some mulch and we're gonna have some noodles in there. Kind of fun, I got some fun noodles. Hey, Autumn. Yes. What dinosaur would Harry Potter be? Which one? The dinosaur, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I have to admit, I had to practice that about twice because I'm not good with words. English is hard. Ooh, that's looking great. More. A little bit more, and then I want to, you, let's, oh, and remember, before you pour all of it in, we got to put your dinosaur bones in there. Yep. Noodles. All right, put some noodles in there. We got to put those noodles. I'm gonna put some bolts. Nice. Is that a shark noodle? Yeah, that's good. All right. Take your spoon and spread those out a little bit because they're sometimes they're cluttered one on top of another and it makes it hard to dig them up. And sometimes they're all by themselves. Nice. Let's show everyone what we got. Whoa! And then we're gonna put more sand. All right, so we have those noodles on top. We got that mulch. You pushed them down a little bit. Put just a tiny bit more because you know what I want? I want the noodles to be showing up just a little bit. Yeah. This is the very, very top layer. And like I said, this is the stuff we're walking on. This is the stuff that is the youngest rock that was laid down in an area. Top of the layer. The deeper you go, the older that we get. Nice. Ooh, that looks good. Yeah, get it over there. Yeah. I don't want to put that much. <laughs> Tap it around. Do what you got to do. A little bit more. All right. Now, if you can see that, friends, you can see some of those noodles. We still have more sand. We do. You might have some extras. We no big. In this. We can. We're going to put a lid on it because we don't want any animals getting into it or anything like <laughs> that. Now, if you can tell, look at all those beautiful layers. We went from coffee grounds to sugar to sand, to magic sand, which I kind of, I think we bought it at Walmart or Five and Below or something like that. But we it's cheap, it it's fun. Again, all of these ingredients, should I did not, house. they should be in your house. I didn't have to leave home to get these things. You don't have to use magic sand. You could use whatever you want. And of course, then I had flour for this middle part that represents our sandstone. And on the very top, we're the ones walking on the very top here. And our bones, like I said earlier, are sticking up out of the ground. So when we're walking around and we're doing what's called prospecting, taking a peek to see what there might be, we find them underneath our feet. And then we go, huh, there's dinosaur bones in, in this here sand. Not, automatic. Not um, automatically. Not automatically. Sometimes you find something and sometimes there's nothing else. It's hard to say. <laughs> hey, Autumn. Yes. What did the dinosaur put on her steak? Dino sauce. That was a oh, good one. Hilarious. That was a great one. <laughs> now, 
friends, again, if you didn't have all your ingredients or maybe I was going too fast because I go a mile a minute, you all know me. Please look on the website, do it over and over. You can use different colors of sands. Again, this is an art and look how beautiful they turn out. Look at that. With more, with more, with more, with <laughs> more. Show that. Okay. Oh, show that side. See how that is a little bit higher than the others? That happens in nature too. This is so cool. So what we made today was stratigraphy. It's too hard to say. <laughs> I like it. It's so much fun. It's again, use what you have at home. If you guys have any questions for me, please let me know. You can post it on the website or if you want to, you know. I'll try to get the questions so maybe they can be forwarded to me. I love questions. Gives me something to do. Now no. show them the mess. The mess? Oh, well, we have quite a mess. We have dirt all over the place. Yeah, you just made more mess. I made mess. more mess. Yay. Now that we have our stratigraphy, you can keep yes. it as art. You can show off to your relatives and be like, hey, look at my stratigraphy. What did you do today? Stop picking it. <laughs> yeah, you started it. <laughs> Look on the website, do it as many times as you like. I can't wait to see you all. Shout out again to all of my friends. I miss you so much. I can't wait until I can see you again. Take care. And again, if you have any questions, give us a shout. Hey, would you look at the time? We better take off. I could use the stairs. I'm just going to use the elevator. You ready, Autumn? Uh, level one, please. Boop. Bye, friends. Bye. So good to see you. That was pretty good.